I'm Pamela yeah, Martin reporting right. for WSAR. Governor Patrick today, January 26, endorses plans to move forward with construction of a first ever in the nation bio manufacturing center on land off of Route 24 in Fall River. The center is expected to carry a price tag of $23 million. UMass, as you know, is uniquely purposed for this, this activity. If you think about UMass Dartmouth and our sister campuses all around the state, we're the only institutions who wake up every day to both create jobs through research, new ideas, new inventions, and prepare Massachusetts citizens to excel at those jobs. This advanced technology and manufacturing center where we are today, it is an example of a smart choice that was made a decade ago and is paying off in jobs and in innovation and in opportunity. Our Marine Science Center in New Bedford is clearly another of those choices. And I think together with our core campus, they will create this innovation triangle so that we have the opportunity to build a new and prosperous future for our region. The announcement was made at the UMass Dartmouth Advanced Technology Manufacturing Center. Two of the themes of what the work that Governor Patrick really tried to do have been focusing on innovation and focusing on collaboration and building collaboration, and this is really a tremendous uh, example of that. So, on, on behalf of the announcement today that we're pleased to make, um, and it's my pleasure to make on behalf of Governor Patrick and the administration, but also on behalf of Chancellor McCormick and UMass Dartmouth, and Mayor Flanagan, and the city of Fall River, uh, is that uh, we are uh, going to proceed with the development of the bioprocessing facility uh, to be uh, built and operated. <laughs> to be built and operated by, uh, by UMass Dartmouth and be located at the, uh, uh, at the biopark property uh, off Route 24. Uh, and it will, a place where I think we all agree, uh, will be able to serve a really catalytic fun function uh, in encouraging uh, the continued development of life sciences and, and the healthcare industry. The full construction of a technology park can lead to the creation of 8,000 jobs for our city, and it can lead to an investment of approximately $280 million from private industry here in the city of Fall River. And we're realistic. As the mayor of this city, I know we just can't build one building and expect these companies to come to Fall River working with our former Office of Economic Development and Ken Fiola and working with the business community, we now have to act as recruiters. We have to go out and recruit CEOs to come to Fall River to make investment, to go to those companies across our nation and across our globe to recruit them to come here. And there's no reason why we can't compete with other parts of the nation, whether it be California or North Carolina or other parts of the globe, whether it be Singapore or Ireland, to get these technology companies to come to Fall River. So I'm very optimistic about the progress we as a city can make in improving the quality of life for the people in our community. What we need to do now and what we need to do for the future. So I'm proud of